Missy Billingsley here. We're at the Mark Williams Corner at Bash. I want to show you how to make piping and make a little tissue case. It's quick and easy. First of all, we're going to get our piping and we're going to make it on the serger. We have the piping foot on the Evolution and I have my fabric cut about an inch and a half and I'm going to lay the piping in, wrap it around, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually cut my fabric down to about a quarter of an inch seam. That's going to allow me to more easily get my fabric in the machine stitching. So slide it up underneath the presser foot and as you stitch you're going to create your piping. So I've got a little bit longer stitch length to create it. So we're going to surge to create the piping. Makes it very quick and easy. Gives it a nice clean finish on the end and it's just perfect. So once you've made your piping, I use a longer stitch length to make it, then I put it in with a shorter stitch length. So once you've made your piping, see how nice and neat it is? Okay, now then we're going to get two pieces of fabric. I have two pieces of fabric. They're cut six inches by six and a, six and a half across. Six by six and a half. So we're going to place the piping in the six inch edge six inch edge. We're going to place it up underneath the presser foot all the way and we're going to surge down that edge. Standard slitch length about two and a half. Cut off the end. You only need about six inches for each side. Surge down this edge. Surge all the way to the end and surge off. It's that quick and easy to put in your piping. Okay, you're going to repeat the same process for the second side. Second side, piping sandwiched in, slide it up in the needles up to the needle positions, surge down that edge. Now once you surge down that edge, you're going to open it up. Now if I were at home, I would take this to the ironing board and I would give it a press. Okay, so turn it right side out, give it a nice press, now I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to give a little bitty clip right here at the center, top and bottom, just to mark my centers. That way I know where I need to line up my, my piping. A little bitty clip. Okay, now I'm going to decide which fabric I want on the outside and I'm going to do the green on the outside. We're going to place the piping, line it up on that little cut notch. Make a meet in the center, and you're going to place it underneath the foot, and you're going to surge. All these seams are quarter inch seams. I'm going to keep my Allen wrench handy, or a stiletto handy, that way when I get up here to the center, my piping tries to split apart so I can raise my foot, push it up underneath there, and make it stay close together. So it'll stay close together, and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Piping's going to line up in the center, surge along that edge. Again, watch your piping, it tries to spread apart, push it together, and stitch. Okay, on your sewing machine, go back here, right across here, and, and straight stitch that to reinforce it, because that's where the stress is going to be. So to finish up, you're going to box your corner, so put your thumb up in the corner, flatten it out straight, surge along that little edge. You're going to do the same thing for all four corners. It's a really quick project, uh, makes great for gifts, makes great for um, charity sewing, groups, all kinds of things. If you want to make a lot at one time, cut your fabric from selvage to selvage. Six and a half inches wide, surge or put your piping in both edges, then cut it off into six inch chunks and continue putting your, your piping together the rest of the way. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to be finished. You'll turn your piping out. And there you go. You have a cute little tissue case. Put your tissues in it and it'll hold them for you and it'll keep them clean.